years after piling up stats and leaving legacies for their home state school, a pair of hog greats are giving back to local kids who one day hope to follow in their footsteps. We've grown up here in Arkansas. We've loved the state of Arkansas. We've, we've also, you know, had a chance to... Uh... Boy, Houdini's in the house. Right is wide open. Touchdown, Arkansas! I guess you say do our thing uh, in Fayetteville for the state of Arkansas. If you're a Razorbacks fan, you have fond memories of Jarius Wright and Joe Adams. They balled out on the hill and went on to play in the league. And next week, they come together for a good cause right here in Central Arkansas as they host a youth camp in Benton. Wide open is right in the middle of the field again. These two wideouts always had each other's back. And they still do today. The Jay and Joe showcase will be July 17th, a uh, week from the day. We want to just be able to get the kids out, be able to teach them. You know, me and Joe both are Arkansas kids ourselves. Kids around here are serious about it. You go around, you look at states, and they don't see Arkansas as a football state, but we, we have really, really good talent. So we want to get a chance to see some of the talent that we have around here and help them take their game to the next level. It'll be 9 from 12 at Benton, Arkansas High School. It's supposed to be for 9th through 12th graders, but, you know, if you have a 7th or 8th grader and, and want to bring them out, we're, we're welcome in. In his four years at Arkansas, Wright caught 168 balls for 24 touchdowns and nearly 3,000 yards. Adams also totaled 24 scores in his four years, five of which on putt returns, including one of the top plays in program history. And nobody's home to watch that house. Touchdown, Hogs! And these homegrown Hogs have stayed tight ever since, a decade later debuting their camp. I would say even before we got to Arkansas, we played Joe. Warren played CAC and we kind of beat him up real good. And, <laughs> you know, ever since high school, me and Joe had a great relationship. The night before commitment, I said, hey, Joe, you go to Arkansas, I go to Arkansas. And, you know, Joe committed before I did. So I think that relationship and that bond was, was built then. Well, you know, we have a lot of experience. We're really great players in high school. Uh, we excelled at college, and most kids dream that plays football is to play in the NFL, and we have that experience. Me having eight and Joe having about four or five years of NFL experience uh, that we can pass on to these younger kids that, you know, just in high school. Vikings win it on an 87-yard catch and run to Jarius Wright. Jay and Joe will coach up the student athletes and try to show that it's not all about metrics. After all, neither of these former Razorbacks touch six feet in height. Most people always think it's, uh, everything is about physical. I was always too small. I never let anybody tell me what I couldn't do. And I would say that was one of the best things I could give to anybody. Not only people just playing football, but you know, any dream that you have, don't let people um, tell you that you can't do it. You know, we want to actually get a chance to be more hands-on with the kids at the camp and sit down and be more, learn more mental aspect of football, you know, coverages. We don't want to just go out here and do, you know, drill everything. We want to actually teach the kids uh, football intelligence as well. Both former Razorbacks believe the program is in good hands with Sam Pittman. And they might be giving back with this camp, but it does give them the chance to reflect on their glory days as a Razorback. You know, it was amazing. Uh, words can't describe how how good my I, my college career was, you know, not only because I broke records, but, you know, I grew up in a town of, in Warren, Arkansas of 6,000 people. You know, a lot of people don't get a chance to, to do the things that I've had the chance to experience. And to do these things for your, your home state, uh, it's, it's been amazing. We've been wanting to do something for the state uh, for a long time with me still playing. I know Joe finished school and he's been coaching at CAC. Currently, I, I am going back to school. I haven't currently retired yet. I decided I'm, I'm going to give it one more year and, uh, you know, kind of see what this year holds for me while I finish up school. We've been working with a 707 team, and, they, and they've done a lot of work in Benton with Coach Brad. And he's a great guy, and he has a great field over there, great indoor, so, so rain or, or sunshine, you know, the, the camp is going to go on. We have great coaches around us that are willing to come and help us with this camp. It almost made sense. Nick Walters, Fox 16.